Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. I just want to start off by saying thank you to everybody who has subscribed and helped me grow. Um, I do really appreciate it. And so without further ado, let's just jump right on into today's video. Today we are going to be playing with the Sorcerer palette. This is by Fantasy Cosmetica, um, a brand I just recently discovered and have fallen in love with. I will link the video where I played with the Druid palette down below. Um, I will link them down below in the description box and we will just jump into today's palette. This is the Sorcerer palette. It is gorgeous. So yeah, I don't know what kind of look we're going to go for today. I'm kind of thinking like a purpley blue. I think that'll be fun. So, so yeah. I'm gonna do my eyes first and then we will do my face and I'm gonna attempt lashes again. So I bought um, this little thing. Um, I've heard it's supposed to like help with lash, lash application um, better than like regular tweezers. like five or six bucks at Ulta so it wasn't bad but I mean because the tip is like curved so I guess it's supposed to like hug the lashes better and help you get them like right to the line or on the lash line and then it's got this little like pointy end that you can kind of use to help push down the lashes in the corners so I figured we'd give that a try so let's see I'm going to pull out some brushes so I can decide which ones I want to use. I'm trying to find like my cleanest brushes um, because I am not one that washes my brushes as often as I probably should. And I do have like a little color changer thing that I could use. However, I left it upstairs and I don't want to go get it. So, this one looks pretty clean. I have some like bubble wrap next to me from, actually I think from unboxing these palettes. So, we'll just kind of try and clean my brushes off of that. And I think to start with, because I think I want to do like purple on the crease. Or let's prime the eyes first. I think I want to do like a pinky purple crease and um, blue greenish teal kind of moment on the eyelids. So just gonna prime my eyes. I'll we'll zoom you in a little bit. a little better now. Okay, I think we are going to go in with this pink color right here called Innate. A little bit powdery there's a little bit of kickback but you know that doesn't bother me and I think we're just gonna take this right along in the crease it's okay if it's a little bit messy right now we will clean it up this palette has proven to be like extremely pigmented um, it really doesn't take a lot but they are also buildable so if you wanted to build it a little bit deeper you can without any issue. So I think I'm gonna go two coats on each eye. And I am bringing it up towards the brow bone. Okay. And then I'm gonna find a smaller fluffy brush. Okay. 
And I'm going to go into Empower, which is this purple down here. And this is going in the crease to add dimension and bring in that purple that I'm going for. These are blending very nicely together. I just kind of want that pink to kind of just barely peek through. So I am taking the purple up the brow bone as well. And we will go back in with the brush that we used with the pink and just kind of right along the edges just to kind of bring it back out. And that's what we've got so far. And so I think I'm going to do kind of like a halo eye and I'm going to um, go in with these two colors here and I'm going to try to use this color as an inner corner highlight and we'll see how it looks pulls together. Um, this darker blue glitter shade is, I don't know, my names are kind of rubbing off. I don't know what the bottom one is called because it's kind of rubbing off. Strange. That's the only one that's rubbing off. But this one's called Polymorph. The shade names aren't on the back. So I'll, I don't know. This blue glittery shade here. And I am going to go in with NYX Glitter Glue. Sorry. I'm looking for a flat brush here and I don't have my contacts in at the moment. I should have put them in. And my next glitter glue, which I have started using for any shimmer shadow whatsoever. It has been a game changer. Let me see. I'm just going to kind of put it. I'm going to dab it on the eyelid first. First time I'm doing it this way, so we'll see how it works. I'm going to make sure it covers the entire lid, kind of cut the crease a little bit. Okay, and so that has time to set. We're going to go on to this eye here and do the same thing my crease a little bit make sure I get it all over okay and then this darker blue I'm gonna put on the inner and outer part of the eye leaving the center alone for now And I'm kind of more patting it down than like spreading it and it's building it nicely. Same thing. We're going to start in the outer corner. This eye look in this blue, like this blue mixed with the pinky purples is giving me like mermaid vibes right now and I'm loving it. Okay, and then I'm going to use the other side of the same brush and we're going into this polymorph color. Oh man. Oh my goodness. This color. These palettes, man, let me tell you, they are just amazing.
fun as the eye look so far. I'm loving it. Man, I am so glad that I decided to get these palettes. These shadows are unlike anything I've owned by far. Yeah. Like, I don't even think the camera is doing them justice. They are so shifty and gorgeous and metallic and shimmery. Yeah, I'm loving it. Okay, I'm gonna hop off and do all my complexion products since I don't have anything new to share with you today. And then we'll be back and we'll finish out the eye look and we'll do some lashes and, well, we'll attempt to do some lashes. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> so yeah, I will be back here in just a moment. Okay, we're back. I've done my complexion and all that. So let's jump into some lashes. These lashes are by Tarte. I can't really see them, sorry. Let me see if that's better. If my, my camera does not want to focus on them for some reason. Okay. Well, these are by Tarte and they are gorgeous lashes. I really struggled with getting these on last time. Like, I wasn't able to. So, let's see how this goes. I'm going to kind of line up the curve. And I'm going to try it first with the glue that they came with. Otherwise, I have this glue by Duo that I really like. Um, it does seem to work really well. But I want to try the glue that it came with. I let that dry for a second, get tacky. Okay, and then we're just going to hopefully I think they're on. That was really easy. Oh, no, I lied. Came right off. So, try this again. I'm hoping the glue's still good on there. want these lashes to work. They are really pretty. I don't know why these particular ones give me so much trouble. Know. Do you guys have any tips for lashes? I really, really want these to work. I 
I think I got, I think I'm getting it. I'll give that a couple minutes to dry. So I'll do the other eye. Um, I felt like this eye look needed a wing, but I totally messed it up and it is not even, even a little bit. But you know what, I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna mess with it because I'll just make it worse. And I need to fix the shadow on this eye, on my left eye. So I'm going back in with this polymorph color. I just got a little mascara, or not mascara, eyeliner on the lid. So I just wanna cover that up. And there we have it. I do think I got the lash on this time, so. This tool definitely, definitely helped, I feel like. So let's just get the other eyelash on. I do think I like this glue better than the tart glue that it came with. I do think that helped a little bit. Maybe I'll use both glues since that's what I did on the other eye. I don't know why this pair gives me so much trouble. It really is just this pair. I mean, I'm not the best at lashes anyways, but this pair has been almost impossible every time I've tried to use them. I know you're supposed to kind of let the glue get tacky. Maybe I didn't let it get tacky enough first. And then... Okay. Okay, I think they are on. I mean, they're on as best as I'm gonna be able to get them. So yeah, I don't know. I just felt like this eye look needed a dramatic lash. So I think we achieved it. And this is what we are working with. It is so pretty, I love it, okay. Let's quickly do an inner corner highlight and the lower lash line. I think for the lower lash line, I'm just going in with like an angled liner brush because I want it real close to the lash line. So I'm gonna go in with this purple, this Empower, and that's what we're gonna put on the lower lash line. I think that pulls it together nicely. Okay. I should have waited to do the mascara on my lower lash line, but I did not think about it. Okay. My lighting down here kind of sucks right now. Hang on a sec. Okay, I think that's a little better. I just kind of moved my ring light a little bit. So that is what we're working with. 
I'm going into this arcane color in the center here for an inner corner highlight. I'm just going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to make sure it's nice and clean. And pick some up. It's one of those really soft colors that doesn't want to be picked up very well. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is gorgeous. Okay, so this is the look we came up with today. Oh, let's do quickly do lip. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Demi Matte in Catwalk Killa. I really like this color. It's like a dusty purple, and I think it'll look really nice with this look. This lipstick does have a slight like plumping sensation, but it's quite pleasant and almost like a minty kind of feel. And because this is a demi matte, um, and it doesn't fully dry down to a matte, it doesn't, it's not super, super long wearing, but it is longer wearing than a lot of lipsticks that I've worn. So, I like it a lot. And this is the finished look. These lashes work well with my glasses. Um, I mean, you'd see them better if I was wearing my contacts, but I totally forgot to put them in. I'm really bad about wearing my contacts just because they fight me when I'm trying to put them in. Especially the left one. For whatever the reason, the left one loves to fight me putting it in, and it just does not want to cooperate hardly ever so this is the finished look with glasses and this is the finished look without I am loving this palette I cannot wait to play with it more and see what else we can come up with it is so much fun I will have this palette linked down below um I am not affiliated with fantasy cosmetica whatsoever I paid for these two palettes both the sorcerer and the druid palette with my own money she did not send them to me i'm not affiliated i the link i'm going to post down below was not an affiliate link or anything just simply telling you where you can buy the product for yourself if you are interested um i had a lot of fun playing with this eyeshadow palette and i cannot wait to play with it more and yeah Maybe next time, next video, I'll do I'll do a, a an eyeshadow look using both the Sorcerer and the Druid palette. I think that would be a lot of fun to kind of mix and match the two to see what kind of look I can come up with there. Uh, I do I did order another new palette yesterday. It just released yesterday. Um, so yeah, I just ordered it yesterday hasn't even shipped yet but as soon as I get that palette I will do another look with that palette it's the belly Be Bella Beauty Bar um, is I believe how you say the cus the name of the company I don't know if it's Bella Beauty Bar or Bella Beauté Bar um, not 100% sure but um, they did a collaboration with a with an Instagram influencer um, her in 
Instagram, I want to say is mjones5018. Uh, but it's a Celestial Gardens palette. It comes with eyeshadow and cake liners and the, the colors are just gorgeous and I cannot wait to receive that palette in the mail. So stay tuned for that. Um, as soon as I get it, I will try and get a video up. Stay tuned for Ipsy, and I also have an ice cream beauty box coming in the mail. I did subscribe for six months to that, so we'll see. We'll put Ipsy and ice cream beauty boxes head to head, and we will see which ones are better. Um, Ipsy seems to have been going downhill, so we'll see. We'll see how ice cream beauty turns out. Um, but yeah, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit the like button. It would really help my channel grow. And subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.